Good morning and welcome to the West Midland Safari Park where me and Charlotte are here to go on safari. We're going to go and see all the different animals and we've done vlogs from here the past couple of years, haven't we? we? Have. And what have we done, Charlotte, normally? We always go in the little guided bus. We go on the guided bus. We pay it £6.50 at the time of recording now uh, to go on a tour and they take you like a bit of off-road and yeah, stuff, don't really they, on good. there? It is really good. I definitely recommend it. But we thought this year we're going to do something <laughs> a bit, well, I say a bit different. We're going to do what? most people normally, normally do. do we're gonna drive through Ooh. well i'm gonna drive through and I'm the safari film. charlotte's gonna do some filming it's a lovely day today i must say uh, it's a bit chilly isn't it, it it's is a, bit a bit cold, cold. of course here at westman safari park as well as having the safari you've got this whole area just behind us and uh, when you walk in there's loads to see there, there isn't is they uh, you've got the adventure theme park where there's lots of different rides a fantastic drop tower a couple of different roller coasters so we'll head in there later on in the vlog yeah. uh, of course we're going to do the animals first and see all the safari along with that as well well, there's a couple of dinosaur walkthroughs, Ooh. there's a bat cave there's in there, goats. there's goats, there's a sea lion show, there's actually a lot here. There's a lot to do. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people just think it is the safari, but, but so there is more. so much more. I mean, if you do come here, don't just sort of pull onto the car park and, and sort of look at that entrance there and think there's nothing behind there it because loads. there is a lot. Obviously, the safari is off to that side, uh, but there's so much here to do and see. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to get yeah. back in the car and I'm going to hand over to Charlotte. She's going to be the camera woman <laughs> for this safari. And uh, yeah, are you ready to go and see the animals? Yay! Yeah, it's only just open, so hopefully the animals will be coming out, enjoying the sunshine, yes. and we'll uh, get some footage. Let's get in the car and I'll take you on Sean's wild safari. <laughs> Right, here we go then. Whoa, oh, bumpy, bumpy. <laughs> Welcome to Sean Forry. Do you recognise the music? You got to comment below oh, for the music. Here we go. Right, what's this beast over here? Let's go. <laughs> I'm not opening my window. What? That's, That's the whole scary. idea. Oh, I love it. Oh, come and say hello. Oh, no. There he comes, there he comes. Oh, no, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, my God. He's off. He's being rounded up. Oh. Off he goes. So we've got some giraffes coming up. Wow! Really close as well. Oh my god. Good morning. How are you? Oh, aren't you beautiful? Oh, aren't they gorgeous animals, giraffe? What? Oh, there's a baby one! Oh, Lovely, aren't they? Have you guessed the music yet, viewers? Oh, there's loads of them coming up as well. All the rhino over there, wow. Out first thing this morning. Oh, aren't they absolutely beautiful? Hello. Oh, oh he's getting a bit close. Oh. Watch out! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at the size and compared to the car as well. Oh my god! It's amazing, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Onwards and upwards, let's go. Onwards, That's the beauty, though, isn't it, of being yeah. in your own car? You can stop for as long stop, yeah. as, as you want to. Oh, there's a little rider over there Honestly, behind you. You missed it on camera, just. I thought we were going to get trampled on in the car. <laughs> I love it, right? Camera's back to Charlotte, let's carry on. So here we go, we've got the rhinos next to us. Here they are. Can you guess this music now? Look at the baby one! <laughs> Oh, look at the baby rhino! That's so cute. Wow. Coming really close now. Yeah, they come so close. Off for a leisurely stroll. So here we go. We've got, I don't know what it is. Maybe a gazelle being fed. What are your thoughts on that, Sean? It's lovely, here he comes. <laughs> then we've got Ready for the launch, here we go. <laughs> That's what you're getting. Here they are. Oh, it's amazing how close they're getting today. Hello. You all right there? Oh, he's coming in. <laughs> window up, window up. <laughs> but the thing is, I just don't want to be slobbered on. I oh, know. Oh, <laughs> That's no. my main thing. The Look at the queue though now, like it's just open. That's the thing with this. You do get two lanes of traffic though, as you're going round. So yeah, let's uh, continue. We've got some more beasts coming up the side <laughs> just here. Lovely, how iconic. Here we go, the window's open. Come on, you really want to be on Theme Park Worldwide. You'd be famous. 
all the others aren't going to be famous, it'll be you. No, oh, he's turned his, maybe Doesn't not. We'll just carry on driving then. What's your name? Where do you come from? Oh God, it's a standoff. Oh, oh no, Bye. doesn't want to be on either. Shocking. And we're going to carry on. Here we have another beast walking through the cars. And the rhinos are back. There they are. There's the baby rhino. And we've got some, we're not very good with these animal names today. Over there. There they are. Look at these in front climbing out the window. Oh my god. Well, these remain seated. <laughs> there we are. There's loads of them over there. And a few crows as well. Nice and close up here now to those rhino that Charlotte was showing you just. Chilling out, eating the grass. Lovely. Great day for it today. I'm sorry, but there's no food for you. So obviously some of them you can feed. But some of them you can't. Yeah, they put signs up. Just to let you know that you can and cannot. Shut the window down? No. You're right. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh, they're quite cute actually. I like them. Yeah. He's looking at you, he likes you. Hmm. He likes being on the videos. So here we have some sheep, as they're calling them on the sign. They do look like goats, but they are sheep. Different types of sheep. But don't worry, the goats are coming don't up later. Worry, the goats are coming. Goat part worldwide, baby. <laughs> so here we have the bazinda, which was on the side, just chilling out in the sunshine. And here we have a fort. Here. Oh, a fort. <laughs> I believe this is home to the rhinos, and there's one just there underneath. Very nicely themed for the... It's an Indian rhino, that is. Indian rhino. Because it's got like a shield belt into its skin, hasn't yes. it? Yes. So it's like got a shield plate. As you can see, if I zoom in, you can see it a bit more. Yeah. It's like prehistoric, shielded. It's like it's, it's wearing it, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's wearing armour. But it's its skin. Nice themed, like, building that as well. Very nice. We've been told on the tours before that they've got like a like a bath and stuff in there where yeah, they have like, like a, a, a pool, yeah, a bit of a wash. And there he is. Another look there at the Indian rhino. Zoom in there so you can see that skin a little bit more. Just enjoying eating the grass. Oh, he had a bit of a shiver there, and is he a bit cold? So it's only four degrees this morning, it might look really warm, but yeah, oh, there he is, on the move now. Beautiful. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Da -da -da -da. There we are. And we can move. Are you enjoying your safari, Sean? So how's your safari going today? It should be me asking you as I'm your safari driver. I'm, I'm how's your safari going? I'm having a great time, Oh, thank I'm glad you. you're having a great time. Just to let you know, we're just gonna wait for this other gate to open now. That yep. one's gonna shut behind us, just to make sure the next animals in this enclosure don't escape into the other one. That's what it's all about. So we'll wait here, traffic lights will go green, gates open, we go into the next bit. I did a few different accents then, didn't I? So you can just see a white Bengal tiger just up there. He's quite far in the distance. I'm zoomed in a little bit just here. But yeah, he's just sitting there, oh, chilling out. Something got his attention then, didn't it, the other way? Come on, spin around this way. There he is. Beautiful. So we've 
just spotted the cheetah down here. There he is. Looking into the other pen. His friend must be in the other pen, but there he is. So we're now in the enclosure of the wild dogs. Here they all are. There's a lot. The African wild dogs. These are dogs. the African wild dogs. I think when we were on the tour, they told us that these are some of the most dangerous animals that they've got at the safari park. Look at this one here. Oh, look at that. Obviously, when you're in this section, you can't have your windows open. But there they are. I mean, these scare me quite a lot looking at these. I don't like dogs as it is. Any normal dogs. Never mind. Oh, he's got a piece of meat in his mouth. Can you see? Oh. Zoom in on him there. He's eating a big bit of meat. Wow. Enjoying a lovely bit of meat. There you go, you can see the meat a little bit up close now. That this African wild dog is enjoying. Oh, he's stopped for a little bit. Oh, oh, he's off. He's running, he's running. He's going to come in front of a car. Whoa! He's off. How do you feel wow. about that shot? That's crazy. Next up, we're going into the realm of the lions. Woo! Let's go. So we're now in with the lions. Wow. Look at that beast. <laughs> you didn't make me laugh. Go on. I'm, I'm hoping for a rah! Wow. Nice male lion with a nice. female just behind yep. eating some meat. Is it? That's the male. Then you got the female just behind eating some meat. Maybe lamb chops. Not sure what's on the menu today. <laughs> lamb chops? Might be pork chops. You never know. Wow, look, so obviously that is a female lion. And then we've got the daddy lion over here. And he's eating some meat. I'm going to get stick. close to him now. Here we go. Oh no, he's going. <gasps> what are they doing? That's good. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh my god. Oh, he's close. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, that's some good footage of that lion. Look at that meat there, look at all the blood on it. <laughs> How much do you pay for that down at your local spoons? So, a lovely safari and a pat lunch. I've got me sandwich over here. What's that lunchbox? I couldn't find another one, so I've got a children's lunchbox. But it is Disney, so with some delicious sandwiches inside as we carry on into the white tigers lions lions <laughs> so there we have the white lion also eating some meat oh look at that one over there oh wow and he's making a noise Is look he? at him yeah i can see his mouth moving wow he is the emperor emperor White lion, hear the emperor, emperor. Oh, there's loads of them, look. There's loads of them. There's another one. They just look so chilled. And the animals have been fed, and so have I. Yeah. Got my sandwiches, I've got my prawn cocktail crisps now as well. So I've got a cheese and onion sandwich. Sean's got his prawn cocktail crisps. Mm, lovely. Very nice. Wow. They sneak up on you, don't they? And he's off. We go on. I'm chilling under a tree. Wow, look how many there is. All chilling. I believe though we can only see one male in this pack. Here we go, another one. Oh, licking her lips. I'm sorry, there's no sandwiches for you. You're right. We've come back to try and get him in the video. 
What's that? You don't, no, you don't want the video. You took one step back. I've come back all the way to see you. No, you're turning your head. No, fair enough then. I don't want to be in the vlog. So the zebras are coming. They're all running over. Run, run, run. Oh yeah, load them. Here he is. Good thing about this bit. Oh Windows God, no, please, oh, yeah. no, please. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> oh, here they are, look. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh. 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 This way. Watch out for my bonnet, you. Watch my bonnet. <laughs> nice, aren't they? Lovely. So we've caught with this one again. Does he want to be in the video this time? <laughs> does he? He does. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah. He's trying to get the steering wheel. How are you? Mm -hmm. I said, this one's great. You're better than your friend down there. Your other friend wouldn't come and say hello to me. Are oh, you good? Oh, are you lovely? Oh, the giraffe behind you as well. What's that? I know, yeah, yeah, not one to go. Yeah, well, me, me and Charlotte, well, Charlotte's never been before, you see. Yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, well, we get the last night of illuminations as well. Yeah. Are you coming? <laughs> no. You don't, you don't fancy coming to Walt Disney World. This giraffe might do though, here he is. Whee! Oh, I tell you what, Charlotte, you're getting some good footage today. Look at oh. that. Lovely. There's safari tours as well, what we'd normally go on. Wow, they're huge, aren't they, honestly? Look how big they are. Man versus beast. <laughs> <laughs> Stop there, sir! <laughs> you may not move past this point unless you move to the side. I'm not moving. You're stopping there. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some zebras crossing. I, be I repeat, we've got zebras crossing. Oh no. Oh god, he's leaking oh, he's the he's mirror. Cleaning my car. Oh, he's cleaning my car. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a pain now, that's how it done. So obviously this is the tour that we normally do, but we've decided to drive this time. Really enjoying it, and obviously there's all the zebras over there. Goodbye. So now we're at the White Tigers. So we've got one there, and we've got one up there, the Emperor. Wow. Just chilling in the sunshine. Unfortunately, these have got no Meat. Yet. Yet. So we've also got the Samaritan tiger just up there, chilling as well. Then we've got some little. These are nice. So cute, aren't they? I don't know what, they, what these are called. I'm not really an animal person, but. These are really cute. Aww. Let's have a little look at these. Aww. Oh, he's coming over. Hello. Here they are. These are nice. Aww. <laughs> They're very, very cute. Aww. Aww. Oh, hello. Maybe these want to come to Florida with us, maybe. Would you like to come with us? Oh, no. they're having a cuddle. It's like me and you. Oh, thank you. Right, we're down at the elephants now. Let's have a zoom in over on these. We've got one off just to the left. They're playing with all these branches. A little zoom in. Very chilled, aren't they, these? He looks like he's been rolling around a little bit. Look at all of the, what is it on it? Like straw that he's got on in there, I think. Smiling though. He's a happy chappy. Move over to this side. And we've got a couple more to see. And there they are. Again, nice animals, elephants. One of my favourites. Giraffe, I think, are my favourite. But then probably I do really like the elephants. I think it's the trunks what I really like. <laughs> so Charlotte's got some wonderful footage so far. I'm sure you'll agree. But she's refused to film the camels because she doesn't like the camels. She's a bit scared, aren't you? Well, what don't you like about a camel? Stink. 
They, they, when they walk, <laughs> stink. When they stink. I just don't like A lot of animals stink though, don't they, really? But yeah, there's the camels. There's loads of them, eh? I, don't, I like the camels when they're bald. When they're what? The bald. Are you going to say something else then? Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been on a camel. Me and Harry went on a camel over in Dubai. They quite enjoyed it. They are. They're quite hard to get on and off there, a camel. Yeah, they're all just eating all that straw over there, aren't they? But yeah, we're going to see it for the next 45 minutes now, so Charlotte can get used to that smell of the camel. So we'll see you in about, in about 45 minutes to an hour. So we've got some more zebra just over here. Zebra, zebra, however you want to say it. Over in the States, I know they say zebra. Uh, I know we're here in the UK. It's just I go to America that much that I've heard them describe them as zebra. But yeah, just having a chill out. These are a lot more relaxed than the ones earlier on that we saw on the reserve. We've got some more animals in the back. I don't have a clue what they are, though. They are angle cows. Angle cows? you got to have them. Oh, there we go. Um, some yeah, they're very, very chilled out, aren't they? But yeah, we're coming towards the end of the safari. Then we'll make our way down to the uh, adventure theme park. Yeah, Venom Drop Tower, here we come. Back out of the car there now after going through the drive through safari. It actually took us just under yeah. two hours to do that. I think that's the longest uh, I've done it. Taken. Yeah, like it's been good though because yeah. we took our time, haven't we? And that goes far to say after doing that again after quite a few years, I probably prefer driving yeah, through. Yeah, than going on. Yeah, the I think because you can stop where you want to, can't yeah, you? As well, you can take, it as take it all in. I mean, we got some great footage there. Like Charlotte got, got some great, some great footage. footage. Uh, she did most of it there. So yeah, thanks for getting some shots. Yeah. Really nice though. I really enjoy the drive through safari. I'm not a massive fan of zoos, however safari parks are more yeah. my sort of thing. Very nice. You know, I like the fact that the animals have got a lot of space. I mean, uh, the size of them enclosures are absolutely huge. huge. Like, uh, you know, it's like they're out on the African plains, isn't it? You know, so, yeah, we've got a nice bit of music on. As we make our way down to the area known as the Discovery Trail, and then you've got the theme park down at the end. But there's a couple of awesome dinosaur walkthroughs here as well. You've got the Land of the Living Dinosaurs that open first, and then they open the Ice Age one just after, and that looks really good as well. We saw that last time. So we'll head down there and get some footage. You've just seen you've got like, the whole little entrance street where there's some restaurants, shops. It's a big area here, like a lot of people underestimate it. I think they feel like there's just going to be a few rides here, but actually there's about, I don't know, 15, 20 rides down here. There's a lot of stuff to see. So uh, let's carry on down. Da -da 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 Love it. You've also got the uh, penguins down here as well. Penguin Cove just at the side. Sea Lion Show and the Bat Cave. Charlotte's favourite. No! The Bat Cave, yes. Let's go and have a look around the dinosaurs. Welcome to Ice Age! Welcome to the Ice Age. An Ice Age is a period of time where much of the Earth's surface is covered in thick layers of ice. The most recent Ice Age ended around 11,700 years ago. Wow. Some great information there provided for us as we enter the volcano. But look at Charlotte's new bag. Here we are, I don't think we've mentioned this yet, have we? There we are, nice dinosaur bag fits in with this. Nice that is. Looks like a kid's bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, it suits you though, you love your dinosaurs. Good thing about in here, the floor actually vibrates when you go over these panels. Crazy, it's actually vibrated. Very well themed this section. All the lava. Whoa! It's wow. <laughs> it's great round here. I remember when we saw it for the first time, was really impressed. You might be thinking it's just fences and a volcano at the moment. Wait till we get round here. Lots to be seen. Like this. Yes. Fantastic. Huge animatronics as well. Quite a lot of movement on some of these, which is great. Flamingo down the bottom there. Hello. We've got this big section round towards the mammoths, round that side. I do really like how close you can get to all of these round here. I mean, there's not like a big fence up around here or anything on this bit. 
It's a little walk around there. It's like they're in the natural habitat. habitat. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. All part of the ice age. And like I say, we'll get round to them mammoths shortly. And you've got loads of different ones around here. This guy who's holding up the tree. You're doing a good job there, mate. I know it's hard work. Keep, Keep going. going. And you know what he is. What is he, Charlotte? He's a Megatron. The giant. Megatron. The giant beast. There we are. Oh, yeah. giant beast. Charlotte's word. The giant beast. Giant. Me Megatherium. I don't know. I'm not very clever when it comes to uh, some of these names. Yeah, this just shows you where we are compared to the uh, drive through safari. Getting very busy over there. Obviously, everybody tends to go there first and then comes around this bit later on. I'd also advise doing that, really. Hello there. <laughs> Great section. And here we have the woolly mammoth. Joined by a little friend of ours down there, Wicker Man. <laughs> there he is. Burned in flames. Lovely. Great theme section this, isn't it? I really like yeah, it around here. I mean, for the kids, this is great yeah. as well. Because you can get really close to them and, and some the of them in front. Pelican. The pelican? You can still see it. Oh yeah, he's at the top up there. Didn't notice that. Yeah, because obviously we walked just the other side of the fence over there, didn't we? Through the volcano. And I followed it round through the forest. And this is only one of the dinosaur walkthroughs. Like I say, this is Ice Age, just next door. You can see it peeking over the fence. That's the land of the living dinosaurs. And we'll head into there next. So as you've seen there from the entrance sign, we're in the land of the living dinosaurs now. Very well themed section there. So they opened it a few years ago and like I say, because of the success of this one area, that's when they built the Ice Age section. You can do it. You can do it, come on, this one, yeah, <laughs> trying to hold the tree up. What a coincidence, the fact that he's doing it I'm and the one next one. door, crazy, isn't it? You're doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yeah, every so often the animatronics sort of reset as you're walking around so if some of them aren't moving if you normally wait by it for a minute or so then that one will start moving they don't, don't all move at the same time obviously the animatronics would soon get tired if uh, if that was happening i love dinosaurs oh charlotte loves them it's a great section this though and this section is a lot bigger here i mean you see where we are now at the top we just walk around that corner runs all the way down to the bottom there where we can see the big t-rex up at the top The size of these is really impressive and this is definitely the largest dinosaur out of both of the exhibits that they've got here. The size of it is absolutely crazy. I mean, you look at it compared to like the height of a person, which is like this board height just here. And look at that, incredible, really nice section. You might notice a few different Easter eggs around as well. Tomorrow, the Easter event starts here at Westmoreland Safari Park and these are really nice and painted up, aren't they? I think we got these in last year's vlog actually came at a similar sort of time last year. Bit of an interactive area over there as well. All these little ones. That's what makes it for me, the fact there's no fences around it. It's just really nicely landscapes. I do like all that. Really recommend a visit here to come and see it all. And it's got one of the longest seasons actually in the UK as well. Because the rise and things, it all starts in February. Whoa. Listen to that. Charlotte gone, where is she? Is she a dinosaur? Wee! Do you want a picture on there, dear? Go on then. I'll take a photo of you. <laughs> What's his name? Rex. Rex, oh, Toy Story. Charlotte! Charlotte! I uh I really like your dinosaur bag. Turn around so I can see it again. Oh, oh, I'm gonna eat it all up. Nom nom nom. Ah! 
absolutely love Ice Age and the land of the living dinosaurs here at West Midland Safari Park. Some great animatronics in there and the sheer scale of them, fantastic. A really good area to bring your kids around there. Of course, to walk around this area, you don't need to pay any extra. It's all included in that admission price that you pay when you drive up in your vehicle. You only have to pay extra if you want your ride wristband. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed that. You like it, Charlotte? Yeah. It's lovely in it around there. Yes, it's really it's nice, very chill, nice. walking around. Not too much music or anything around there either. It's Relax. just ambient with there's plenty of benches and stuff at the side. And yeah, it's just quite enjoyable. Making our way down now to the Adventure Theme Park where we're going to go on some rides. Some great rides here actually. A few coasters, quite a few different flat rides. Uh, but yeah, we've got the uh, Dino Diner just behind us. I know we've not had any food here today. We brought some lunch. But I know a lot of you always comment and say, what are the food options? We've ate here before. It's really nice here. I mean, it's not the cheapest of places, but the quality was really good. So the I'll let Charlotte show you. Since we last came, though. But what, I did what we like got? Lasagna. But here we go. So you've got soup of the day, chili loaf nachos, sweet and sour noodles, fish and chips, chicken salad. Some of the price, of course. Pause the video there if you uh, if you want to. Burgers, and you got sharers and kids meals, sausage and chips. All sorts of stuff. See, so yeah, I like you. Yeah, like meals sort of vary from like six pounds fifty, well five pound fifty at the top there for the soup, through to like nine pounds. Yeah. So you know it's not cheap, no. but it's you know I'd say it's reasonable. I mean the quality of the food was really good when we ate here last time. So you've also got this little covered area outside, and it's quite well themed inside. But I'd say that's the best place to eat. I say that there is a restaurant what they built. I think it was owned for last time we were here down in the uh, adventure theme park. So we'll have a look down there. Right here we go then. So these boards show you all the different rides that there is available here at West Midland Safari Park and the good thing about this as well is it makes it nice and clear on the height restrictions for different rides obviously 1.4 meters for those 1.2 to 1.4 meters uh, 1 meter to 1.2 0.8 to 1 meter and the information down the bottom so your wristband office closes at 4 today of course as you get into the summer that'll become later rides close at 5 so that must be like a standard thing they shut the wristband office an hour before the rides close to make sure you're gonna get your money's worth and also, it's nice and clear here as well what rides are closed, and I'm quite happy with that today. It's only Shark Island that's closed, which is a little spinning ride. So, yeah, I think we're all right with that. So, that's good though. They make it nice and clear, don't they? Like, you don't pay and then walk in and think, oh, this is closed and oh, my child can't go on this. It's nice and clear. Um, but yeah, as the summer comes around, they do like summer illuminations and it's open late, isn't it? In terms of prices, adults £14.50. Uh, concessions, which is what age is that, Charlotte? Can you read in the distance? I'm not too sure. 13 pound 50 there we are children up to 15 years 12 pound 50 and a little penguin there we are which is 0 0.8 to 1 meter which is 8 pounds so there are your different prices let's get our wristbands and uh, yeah let's get on some rides all sorted then with the wristbands we've got a nice pink wristband haven't we today yeah. let's have a little look at it very bright there we are you got your yellow jacket on your new one and a pink wristband yeah. but uh, also you can get ride tickets as well you so from this it's like a car park a machine, car park yeah. Machine. But uh, a little look at the prices. £2 for one ticket, £7 for four, £9 for six. So there you go. And obviously you can pay card there as well. So yeah, it's good. You don't just have to get uh, a wristband. What are you doing? You just have a little a little trip i always say it though with these places if you do plan on doing more than maybe three or four rides a wristband certainly works out the best value especially at 14 pounds 50 like that isn't much at all in this day and age uh, for, for a wristband i don't think so and i'd say it's more than worth the price for the amount of rides they've got log flume rapids ride drop tower a few different coasters yeah there's quite a lot of stuff here lots of different flats so yeah i'd say 14 pound 50 is more than reasonable i would say obviously you've already paid to get in for to the safari park haven't you you know so that's probably why it is a little bit cheaper uh, we think about what you're getting you know it's good value really this is the other place that we mentioned just a little look at the menu again pause the video there but yeah i mean you look at the prices there seven pound fifty for a burger and fries standard sort of pricing really for a, for a theme park that this one's a little bit cheaper actually than the one that we saw just up there uh, and yeah lots of uh, stuff on offer and that's the burger co very well themed nice african style feel to it but yes let's go on some rides like we say it's only shark island closed which is the little ride just here looks like it's uh, just having a bit of extended maintenance we're still quite early on in the season 
Uh, but I think we'll start off with a ride on the Venom Drop Tower, which might look absolutely tiny. It's the red drop tower just over there. However, it's manufactured by Fabry, who also made Detonator at Thorpe Park. That's very forceful. And yeah, this ride, honestly, it's brilliant. It's actually one of the best drop towers in the UK. So let's go and have a little ride on it. So up we go then on Venom Tower Drop. Charlotte's off ride for this one. She didn't want to come on. She's not a massive drop tower fan, but you never know. She said she might give it a go later on in the day. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Obviously, it's entirely up to her. We've also been given, for the first time, permission to film on the rides here at Westminster Safari Park. You can't normally film on the rides if you do come with a GoPro. However, like I say, they have granted us permission today, which is very kind of them, just so we can get some footage for you guys on the rides here. The good thing about this drop tower is that you wait at the top for quite a while as well before going down. Once you hear that click, you know you're about five seconds away. Any time now, and we're going to drop down. Here we go. Whee! Lovely. Great drop tower. Honestly, one of the best in the UK. So we had an awesome ride there on Venom. What a great drop tower that is. Like I say, manufactured by Fabry. They've done quite a lot of drop towers around the world and they're very forceful. I mean, I do prefer Apocalypse at Drayton Manor. However, that isn't far behind in terms of intensity. Honestly, it's not even that tall. I mean, when you look at it just behind us there, it's not massive at all, but the force, what you get on that is brilliant. And I think we need to get Charlotte on it at some point. Go I've on. already been on it before. You've got to do it for the viewers later on, but now we can film on the rise this trip, definitely. No. Not... Oh, fair enough. I won't force her on. <laughs> but anyway, a ride that she will go on, just next to us here. Nice Vacoma family coaster. It's the Rhino roller coaster. So let's go for a ride. Right then, here we go on the Rhino coaster. Oh, a bit of high fives. Love it. Whee, it's great. I've always found the staff to be really friendly here as well. Charlotte's coming on this one. You're going to give Venom a go later on? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? There we are. So a fun little fact for you. There actually used to be a Vacoma boomerang that used to sit on this site just here. Little random fact for you. And they did get rid of that and decided to go down the family route and put a couple of family coasters in. You got Twister just over there. The spinning coaster. Whee! Oh, it's intense on this bit. I'd say it was a good decision for them getting rid of that boomerang. I mean, quite a long time ago now we're talking. But yeah, you've got to think, you know, these family coasters like this much better suit the park with it being a family attraction. Woo! Into the brakes. Oh, quite sharp brakes on that one. Great little fun family coaster though, that. You match it to colour-wise, Charlotte, as well. <laughs> a little bit of a different colour yellow, but still. A bit more like the track colour, I think, than the supports. Great little fun ride though, that. As I said just then over on the ride, really good family coaster that. Follows quite a standard layout. I've done quite a few of those out there around the world. And they're just good rides for parks to have, you know, especially because they had that boomerang before. It was probably a little bit too thrilling for the market what they get here at Westman Safari Park. Or it was obviously the Rhino Coaster. They ride some good thrills, especially there. That's the most forceful part of the ride coming down that helix. Up next though, before we go and do some of the other thrill rides here, we're going on the Jungle Cat Dodgems. So let's go, I think we're gonna be the only ones on this. Not the fastest Dodgems, but it's still a Dodgem. So let's go on. Twister running over there as well. We'll probably do that next. Oh, right, we're off. There we go. And Jungle Cat Dodgems. No head-on collisions allowed. Not the fastest, like I say, but it's a nice little family ride. I mean, at a fair, you'd probably pay, you know, three pound maybe for a Dodgems. Uh, Charlotte. Whee! <laughs> I do like all the artwork, what there is on the different ones though. Quite nice. Charlotte's got a uh, purple bow on the back of her one. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> little ride around. Yeah, that's the purple bow lot. Just in car number one. <laughs> bit of a tease there, bit of a tease. Get her on this corner. Oh. <laughs> I think mine's moving faster than yours, Charlotte. Oh, I've just trapped now. <laughs> yeah, up next, then we'll go for a ride on the Twister spinning roller coaster. 
As you can see, it looks like it's had a bit of a paint up over there. They've painted part of the station white, unless it's faded, I'm not too sure. It'd be nice if they gave that a bit of theming, actually. You never know, they might do in the near future. All right, footage from the Jungle Cat Dodgems just there. They do tell you not to bump on that. That's yeah. why I was teasing a little bit, but not bumping. But he said on the PA system, there are Dodgems, not a bumper car. Yes. So there you go. But anyway, I still have more fun on those than the ones at Pleasurewood Hills the other day. Check out the vlog that me and Danny filmed. It was a bit of a laugh. You've seen that back, haven't you? They were a little bit, uh, a little bit slow. It was one of the funniest Dodger moments I've ever had, if not the funniest. So uh, yeah, next ride though here at Westman Safari Park, the Twister Spinning Coaster. Let's go for a spin. Normally get quite a good one on this. Twisters are like one of my favorite ice creams. Really like them. Shame these ones aren't edible up there though, isn't it? So yeah. Tasty. yeah, they do look really tasty, don't they? There we go, on the Twister. Up the lift hill again, standard layout for a spinning mouse. And up we go. Climbing up that lift hill. We'll go on the uh, rapids, what they've got here. The rapids actually used to be located just over there in the trees. Fun little fact for you. When I first came here, it was on a school trip actually, and the rapids were just over there. And I believe at the time they had some issues with like where it had been placed. So they had to move it to where you'll see it later on in the vlog in the park. It's just over there actually, behind Venom. See the green trough? Whoa! Ice Mountain! Oh wait, wrong, wrong ride, wrong ride. <laughs> Whoa! Normally we get quite a good spin when we get down the bottom on this one. Drop over the station now. <laughs> Great near miss now caused by the track. And that double up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Charlotte. Oh. Uh, uh, right, we're gonna get a bit of a spin now. Ooh. Oh, it's good. We're gonna hit the corner right. Oh, yeah, just about. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> Oh, we didn't hit the corner quite right there. Oh, we're going the other way though now. Hey. Twister. Sponsored by Walls. Be nice if this had a bit of a safari theme in the future. Maybe a bit of a jungle theme of fitness. Airtime Hill coming up. <laughs> Good front ride. Twister, Westminster Safari Park. Lovely. Quite a smooth one, that. It's a nice quiet Friday today, then here at Westminster Safari Park. Straight from ride to ride. We just come off Twister. We had a good spin there, didn't we, Charlotte? Are you all right there? You look very comfortable. They're quite high up, aren't they, these chairs to get into? Get yeah, you have to like jump into the seats to get onto them. Because it's like he's on this decking platform. Around we go on the chair swings. Like I say, I just want to say a big thank you to Westman and Safari Park for having us down here today. And of course, allowing us to film on the rides as well. The first time I've ever been able to film on the rides here. So very kind of them to see in there as well. You've got the ghost train, catacombs to go on. Go on that next, I think. Also, we got Kong just over there as well. There's Ampilla Disco. There's the pirate ship that's been completely repainted. And later on, we'll have a go on the rapids and also on the uh, Zambezi water splash, which is the log flume. Charlotte, you're not going to fly anywhere doing that, you know. <laughs> I know you're trying, but I'm sorry, Blasher, you're not going to fly anywhere. <laughs> Soon we're going to see the goats, I think. We'll do catacombs and we're going to see the goats. A bit of goat parade, goat park worldwide. Had a nice spin there on the jungle swing, didn't we? We managed to get out of our seats. I don't know why, it's just it quite high up. weird seat. Quite a weird seat. Well, yeah, we're doing, we're doing loads of rides already. What, five or six rides yeah. so far? But there's one ride here oh. that is very, oh. very special. It's so and good. It's hardly changed since I first, when I first came here on that school trip as a kid. It's Dr. Umboto's Catacombs. I think I'm saying it right. Dr. Umboto's Catacombs. And it's got a little queue line that's new though since it was last year. There we are, look, they put a little uh, temporary fence out the front. Well, yes, this is the ghost train just here. And I, I've always gone on about this. I mean, I've always said it could do with a little bit of work, this ride. The park always looks really good, but this ride just stays to stay, to stay the same for so many years. You know, I'd love to see him do some upgrades to it in the future. It's got potential, but finally, I'm going to be able to actually take you on to the ride so you can see the catacombs. So, uh, yeah, let's go and get on the ghost train. It's a scary one, this. I'm warning you now, viewers. Are you ready? We're ready for the catacombs. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure how much you're going to see on the GoPro, but we'll soon find out. Ah! <laughs> 
not like there's really that much to see in here. Oh, a wall. Some skeletons on there. Even just a soundtrack in here would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a fan. Yeah, there's a fan. There we are. Westman Safari Park's biggest fan. <laughs> Animatronic. I mean, it looks dark on the camera. Oh, that is how dark it actually is. Like, you can't really see much at all. As we make our way to the big finale of the catacombs. And there it is, the finale. <laughs> <laughs> One minute, 20 seconds of catacombs goodness. There we go. <laughs> We survived! Yes! <laughs> so we survived the catacombs there. Honestly, well. every time we come here, I fear for my life thinking that I'm not going to make it off catacombs, but we made it. I mean, that ride, honestly, there's a lot of improvements around here over the years, but that ride's just not changed. I love it if they'd just put maybe a soundtrack in there, a few new lighting effects and stuff. It just needs more. What you saw there in the footage was basically what we could see like it's just Dark. darkness a lot of it but uh i'd love to see him do a bit of work there in the future well this is the moment that charlotte's definitely been waiting for and i think a lot of you've been waiting for we're going to the african village that's home to the goat walk you've also got the lima woods and the uh, meerkats around here as well so this is a really nice section you've got all the nice themed buildings around here as well uh, of course Goons. meerkats down the bottom uh, so we'll head into the lima woods first go. and then make our way round to the goat walk go. goat park worldwide let's go so we have found the lemurs and there's quite a few of them there just sitting there on the branch chilling out and then you got the adventurous ones and you might think you know oh they're gonna climb up some of these trees but you wouldn't think they'd climb all the way up to the top see them all around there see one that jump jump in there wow another one right at the top up there oh, there he is oh, oh he's coming down there he is Whoop. be careful and like Charlotte said, just they're not even wearing harnesses. Yeah. <laughs> Is there another one? Oh yeah, another one sat at the top up there. Zoom in on him. Just eating the branches. And when I zoom out all the way, you realise just how high they are. I mean, that's probably what? 30, 40 feet up there to the top of that tree? <laughs> that's crazy. Have you got a fascinating fact to share with the viewers about the red-bellied lemur or not? Oh. <laughs> Anything special? No? They like fruit. They like fruit. They also eat flowers and leaves. There we go. Great. And what about the ring-tailed lemur? Anything special uh, to share with the I viewers about like that? Flowers. Flowers. And their habitat loss. Um, they dominate in a group of 15 to 20 individuals. Thank you. They're Thanks for that. I've been waiting for that fact all day. Their body length can be about 50 centimetres and a tail of 50 to 65 centimetres. Why, thank you. Obviously, we might have our ride wristbands on, but you don't need them to walk around here and see the lemurs, the goats, the meerkats. This is all included. Like I say, you can walk all around this area, um, you know, as long as you've paid to come into the actual drive through safari. So don't think that just because you've seen that, you have to pay to come into this. You don't it's only if you want to ride the rides and like we said earlier on in the vlog you can just get a couple of ride tokens if you do want to i'd certainly recommend getting a wristband though for the cost at the time of filming like i say 14 pound 50. it's a lot to see a lot to do it's certainly a full day out and this is a quiet day come on a busy day you know i'd like to come actually on a busy day the guinea fowl it looks a bit like a turkey doesn't it Oh, no. <laughs> Charlotte's got a bit of a phobia of turkeys, hasn't there? We had a little, gobble, gobble. little turkey incident a few years ago. It wasn't on Christmas Day. <laughs> so we've just made it here to the goat walk, and Charlotte's a little bit upset because what's this here? It's a, it's, it's a padlock. The goat has gone! <laughs> the goat walk is, is closed. I mean, we can't even see it. We can't even see the ghosts. I don't know if they're going to be. Are they, is this going to be one of the moments where we walk around and they've moved them somewhere else, or maybe they've gone? But I'm sorry, Charlotte. There's no goats for you today. No goat park worldwide. Sorry about that. How's he make you feel? Very 
so sad. Oh, I mean, you love the goats, don't you? But hopefully it is a temporary thing. I mean, there is all still the signage up and stuff. I don't know. I'm going to find out what's happened to these goats. Yeah. <laughs> it started off there. There used to be free roaming around here. Then they put a fence in all around to stop them walking over the path. And then now the goats have completely gone. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. But I'll tell you what we have got down here, Charlotte. Meerkats. Right. <laughs> it's not a goat, is it? Oh. I can't believe, oh, we've got a duck. It's all good. Hi, you're right, duck. How you doing? So we might not have any goats today, but we've got some of the meerkats just down here. I think they all think that they're going to get fed in a minute. They're all standing up there. Hello. You say hello to the viewers. <laughs> oh, I do like meerkats. Loads of them. All around the side. Yeah. <laughs> So Charlotte's got some information to share with us all. She's found out from the zookeeper about the goats. And they're, what are they, off the show? Off show until summer. So if you are coming in the summer, you are going to get well, the goats. We've been before this time and the goats was here. Maybe they're having babies or something. I'm not too sure. Get them out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll get you some goats at some point soon. I'll take you to some goats. Don't worry. Take you with some goat action. Well, yeah, that's the little section they've got down here. There's also a play area around here as well that's quite well-themed. They used to have a few kids' rides, but they took a couple of them out and then moved some into the main section of the park, just around that side. So, uh, yeah, we'll show you a bit of footage of around there in this play area. So this is the Giggly Play Park. It's quite nice around here, well-themed area, lots of different play equipment, and it's a bit like the Teletubbies with the big, like, mound that they've got over there in the middle. Got some slides, got some swings, some little trampolines. Yeah, it's quite a nice little themed area. That's it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're right there, Charlotte. Having a swing, dreaming of the goats, are you? <laughs> oh, this is a nice soft floor, this is. I've never felt so sad in my life. <laughs> oh, do you want me to give you a swing? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll take you for another ride on the catacombs to make up for it. How's that sound? Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, in a moment we'll go back over and do some more rides. We've got the Caterpillar Coaster, the Zambezi Water Splash, and of course, go on the uh, rapids as well. Hey, thrill ride. <laughs> nice play area around there for the kids. Quite a big area, lots of different things to do. And of course, we're back now in the Adventure Theme Park, just next door to that area, for a ride on the Caterpillar Coaster. One of three different roller coasters available here at the West Midlands Safari Park. So let's go for a ride. there on the caterpillar charlotte's coming down this slide just here getting the slide cred sure i missed last time oh i can hear her somewhere oh <laughs> it's like a delivery isn't it like here she is wrapped up in the bag like a special delivery for sean oh you're right there <laughs> you need to get out your bag there we are did you come down that slow all the way <laughs> oh no there's a, another one as well it's quite a steep slide actually proper spiral going down it Right, then we're going to have a ride on Kong next, which is just around here. Of course, that's the Zamperla Disco. So let's go for a little ride on it.
on ride footage there from Kong, the mighty Kong, as he says there on the microphone. Good ride that, it's one of the better ones. I actually prefer those Zampilla discos that haven't got the little camel hill in the middle. I just think it's got more flow to it, you know, and it, that one really spins a lot. One of the best ones in the UK, actually, that. It's got some nice theming around it as well. You've got King Kong out the front that you can have a photo with. And next up, we're going on the Black Fly. And Charlotte's actually coming on the ride. She's coming on a spinning flat ride. So we'll see you on there. Right, we're off on the black fly charlotte sat next to me I was hoping to sit opposite but i forgot like you've got the actual well the mechanism for the ride in the middle haven't you so yeah i don't think we really see much unless she uh, sat at the side oh this fly is spinning already oh. <laughs> oh she'll ride this but she won't go on venom hey this fly bites back. Probably the most thrilling ride here at West Midland Safari Park. Oh, oh my God. Around the other way now. Enjoying that spin on the black fly. Big shout out to the operator on here as well. She's a big fan of theme park worldwide. <laughs> hey. It's great to be able to take you on board the rides with us here today, which is great. Big thanks to the park again. It's fantastic. Oh my God. There we are. You all right there, Charlotte? <laughs> She's all right. She's all right. ride on black fly there oh, charlotte i didn't like that yeah he wasn't a fan i stayed on for a second go so charlotte got some nice off-ride shots sick. there you know i'm surprised you came on to be honest are you gonna give venom venom, venom a go no. God, i couldn't have any words out then anyway what we're we going on now we're going on jumbo parade. jumbo parade dumbo the flying elephant basically yeah. at disneyland so let's go for a little spin around there the uh, the air compressors make a funny noise on this when you press the button they go like but I really like Blackfly, one of my favourite rides here. Nice and intense. And uh, yeah, I was quite surprised when I first came and realised that they've got a thrill ride like that. And Venom as well. I mean, that wasn't here when I first came as a kid on that school trip. But Blackfly was, and I remember a lot of the kids didn't go on it. And I was like, yeah, come on, let's just go for a ride on it. And uh, yeah, I remember sitting next to one of my friends at school and she was screaming. She was, she did not like it at all. Let's go on Jumbo Parade. Here we are then, Jumbo Parade. Just press the little button there. You see what I mean by the air compressors? You hear them? <laughs> Get some good views around. Gives you a good idea of how big the adventure theme park is here at Westman Safari Park. It's not a massive area, but there's a good selection of rides. Do the water rides next, I think. Shame the sun's gone in, though. We'll have a ride on the uh, little rapids ride. And, of course, go on Zambezi as well. Get a good view of the rapids just there. And then uh, do some re-rides, a couple of other smaller flats to do as well. Having a nice afternoon here at West Mids. Got a lovely good ride there on Jumbo Parade, another one of those flat rides to experience here at the park. Up next then is Wild River Rafting. Like I said earlier on when I was on the Twister spinning roller coaster, it used to be located down the back of the park and they relocated it. We're going back quite a few years now. It may frighten. It may frighten? It may frighten. It's them where you start bashing over. Here we go, it might frighten me. Right, let's go for a little ride. Nice bit of theming in there. It's like a little tree house in the middle. You don't normally get too wet on these. Famous last words. Right, off we go. On the wild river rafting. Are you ready, Charlotte? Yes. <laughs> the boats look a little bit wet, actually, don't they? A little bit. Yeah, quite a bit, yeah. Quite a funky little system on the lifter here with this, you'll see it actually. 
So as we go up the conveyor belt, it's like we're doing our shopping, isn't it? We are yep, the we shopping. Are. Item number one, yeah, scan in. You see if I spin you around. See like they've got the barriers just there, what, close? Just in case the lift does stop, just to stop the boat rolling back. There we are. <laughs> right there, having a bit of a wobble. Oh right, no. this is it. it. Gets going quite fast sometimes, this does. Oh! oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh no. Rapid. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting backwards, I don't like it. Oh, that was a bit violent. Oh, wow. That's it, spin that way, spin that way. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it looked worse than it was. We're all right. Oh, there we are. Spin round. That's it. We're all right. Oh. Oh, no. It's a waterfall. It's all right. Stay this way and we're all right. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Great. Oh. Quite a fun little, oh. Quite a fun little rapids. Oh, my God. It's only a short ride, but with the drops, it builds up quite a bit of speed. Got quite intense, that did. <laughs> right, up next then on Zambezi, which is the log flume they've got. You might recognise this layout from quite a few different travelling versions of the ride. This had some theming added to it a few years ago now for the Zambezi water mill, located next to the Rhino Coaster. Charlotte's not come on this one, it's a solo ride. You might see her over there. Whee! Oh, lovely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Charlotte's on a bench. Whee! Oh, she's eating food. And up we go, climbing up. Lift two for our final descent. Yeah, there's quite a few of these that travel around on the UK funfair circuit. And there's a few that are in parks permanently as well. Just a shame that sun's gone in now, really, isn't it? Having a lovely day, though. Only a few more rides to do. We'll do a few more re-rides and then wrap up the day at Westminster Safari Park. Here we go. Soak time. Woo! Lovely. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. It's when another boat comes around this side, that's when you got to worry. So after riding on the rapids, went on Zambezi, as you saw there by the footage. Charlie gave that one a miss. I went around twice, and I did get quite wet on that, actually. I've dried off a little bit now, because I've just managed to get Charlotte on Venom. I went She's gone on Venom Tower Drop, and how was it? Oh, it was disgusting. <laughs> disgusting? Yeah. Oh, what's up with it? I didn't like yeah. it. It's a great ride. Like, it was so forceful. Yeah. Charlotte does not like a drop towers, do you? I like but... the kids ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. I never really heard that you dis disgusted. Disgusting. Using that word. Like, I really like that ride. If you like drop towers, you'll really enjoy it. If you it. like drop towers, you'll really like that. But if you like me, You'll Ooh, find it disgusting. disgusting, there we are. That's just a weird way of describing a ride, that is. I wasn't quite expecting that to come out, but there you go. Anyway, I tell you what's not disgusting. They've completely repainted all the pirate ship. It is closed at the moment. It looks like they're still doing the work on it, but yeah, they've got like a bit of a, a blue style feel to it. But yeah, they've done something. They've painted it up. Disgusting, that makes me laugh. <laughs> anyway, one of our favorites we're going on now. Only our last few rides, and of course, do a couple of re-rides as well. But we're gonna go and hurtle with the hippos and have oh, a little dance. Oh, I love this Hurling ride. hippos, good fun ride. Let's go on. Yeah. Charlotte's having a bit of a dance over there. Hurtling with those hippos. Hey, great ride this one. It's got a lot of LED lighting as well, but it looks great at night. You know, I've never seen this park in the dark. I would like to at some point. Hey. Yeah, apparently the illuminations, what they do in the summer are really good. Of course, they do a Christmas event as well. Lots of other different things throughout the year. Halloween, fireworks. Check out the website for more details. Come and check these guys out. It's a lovely park. Great staff, very friendly atmosphere. We hurtle with those hippos. Woohoohoo! 
Oh! <laughs> hey! So you start down low and go up high, then go back down low again. As we dance with them hippos hurtling along. Woohoohoo! Don't have many of these around in the UK. There's a good one of these at Liseberg in Sweden that I really like. Jukebox. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Just doing your hair there casually, Charlotte. <laughs> Woo! So we've made our way out of the adventure theme park for now. We are going to head back and do a few more rides before we go. However, we've come to see the 3.30 showing of the Sea Lion Show. Uh, again, this is included uh, in the overall package of coming here for a day. You don't need a ride wristband uh, to be able to go and see the Sea Lion Show. It's included in your admission to the Westminster Safari Park. Charlotte has just shocked me because... Why? Like, I've what? never seen a sea lion show. That is absolutely crazy. You've never seen one. I mean, there's not loads of them out there these days. Flamingo Land, they've got them. Uh, Pleasurewood Hills, that's got one. But yeah, there's not loads. Of course, come and check the show times out just here. There's a board just out the front of the Sea Lion Theatre that gives you an idea of the times and you can come watch the show. So I'll show you some highlights in the next few minutes. I was just singing now. I'm going to sing song. Let's go. As loud as you can. Are we ready? We'll ring. Number. I'm the winner. Never in doubt. <laughs> Come on, guys. You gotta be super loud. You be loud now. Are we ready? We'll ring. Number. Three, four, five. You almost missed him again. That was a long time, guys. Don't tell you off for being loud. Two, three. I mean, he thought about it. He's like, maybe. We have a sea lion back. Goes off the end. And a good cheer. That was. Did you enjoy the sea lion show oh, then, Charlotte? That was so cute. I can't believe you've never seen a sea lion before. Yeah. That's crazy. I really liked that. Well, they are. well, I'm going to go in the back cave. Charlotte's nipping off for a wee. But <laughs> I'm going to take you in the back cave. Here we go. Here's a little look at the penguins just here as well. This is just at the other side there of uh, where we just watched the sea lion show. About a 20 minute show, that one. Like the penguins, aren't they cute? But yes, let's go in the back cave. Oh, hello. He's excited to be on the video. <laughs> let's go for a walk around. There's quite a few different things here. There's the rep reptile house. A uh, little aquarium, we'll have a look in those as well. Let's go in the back cave. So they do actually fly around in here. There's a little live camera. Oh, this is the preview area. Oh, I've come in the wrong bit. Oh, we got, oh yeah, you have to go around to the top, I remember now. Yeah, we can walk around the path just up there. So let's head around. So yeah, the entrance to it is just up here in the discovery zone. Let's head around this way. That's the exit just there. Here's the entrance to the Twilight Cave. Put you into night mode just so you can maybe see them flying around a bit more. See none so far. I mean, normally you see some hanging from the top. Oh, there they are, look. Yeah, hanging up there from the roof. Nice and relaxing in here with the star cloth and just a little soundtrack playing of critters. There we are, look, another one in the tree. There we are, and that's the back cave. So just in the other part of the walkthrough area now, as you can see, we've got some desert locusts just here. I'll have a little zoom on them for you. Climbing up the wall. Oh, don't fall. 
quite a few different creatures in some of these enclosures just here at the side. And this leads down into the aquarium, sea aquarium it's called. Recognise that from Fantasy Island, hello. How are you? He looks like a happy chap, doesn't he? It's only a small little aquarium in here, but it's something else to see, isn't it? Again, that's all part of your admission that's included. Seagrass. And here's Charlotte just wandering behind me. You're right there. Yeah. How long have you been following me for? You'll never know. <laughs> I'll never know. There we are. I saw some bat action. Got some, oh, no. Yeah, I got some bat cave action. I did. Oh, God. Amazon. Right, we'll go for a little walk through the uh, reptile house now, which is just down this way on the left. Here we are then in the reptile That's house. There's some lizards. One there on the right hand side, another one over there having a little... Is he having a swim or is he having a drink? Or a bit of both, I'm not too sure. But yeah, there's quite a few different things to see here. Like you've got the little... Is it lor lorikeets you say? Lorikeets? Like a little walk through as well where you go in, all the birds flying around. It's a big enclosure for a Yeah, just, just for this little fella down here. God, you've got a lot of space, haven't you, mate? A whole world to explore. Hello there, everyone, on Theme Park Worldwide. Hope you're having a great season so far. And I'll see you all soon. If you don't like snakes, viewers, look away now. Because there's the snakes. <laughs> I'm a little zoom in on them there. There we are, always moving slowly forward. One scales on there. Oh, oh, he moved his head then. Oh, sticking his tongue out. He's a big one. And then look at this one here. He's all rolled up. I think he's having a, a little sleep. There's he's his having head. A having a sleep. He's a bit tired. Yeah, it's quite big in here. It's another one of them things that's just worth coming in to see. <sighs> you're a bit tired as well. Like, like, like the snake, you're a bit tired. Yeah. yeah, it's coming to the end of our day. I think we're just going to go and do a few more re-rides back down in the adventure theme park and then we'll wrap up our day here at the West Midland Safari Park. It's been a good one, really enjoyed it. seen a bit more off-ride footage from some of the rides here at the West Midland Safari Park and just before we end with another re-ride on Venom and also the Rhino Coaster just thought we'd share a bit of footage from on the pirate ship because earlier on as we showed you it was closed but it's now open freshly painted for 2019 and on the higher setting now as well according to the operator hey woo nice view of catacombs there as well and Charlotte's come on. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Runs better than Blade, anyway. It's not quite as good as the Bounty at Drayton Manor or Black Buccaneer at Chessington, but it's kind of that mid term pirate ship. Definitely better than the one at Pleasurewood Hills and a lot better than the Blade at Alton Towers. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, we had a new couple of re-rides and that wraps up our day here at the Westman Safari Park. Really enjoyed it. Been a full action packed day. We've been here since 10 o'clock and it's nearly five. Full day out. Woo! So after doing a few more rides over in the Adventure Theme Park, we've made our way back to the entrance where we started the video. And uh, yeah, we're standing next to a Cape oh, Buffalo. A Cape Come Buffalo. on, Charlie, give us a fact. So I have got a fact. You've got one? I've got okay, one. Okay, all right, so, okay. So Cape Buffalo are known for killing lions. 
There you go, that's fascinating. I mean, you'd think that you'd just like read it off that little board down there, wouldn't you? Yeah, but you would there you go. <laughs> what a day we've had at the Westminster Safari Park. You enjoyed it? What's been yeah, your highlight? The highlight's definitely been the safari. Yeah. Like a giraffe nearly running the car. Yeah, it was crazy, wasn't it? We had a good laugh actually driving around really there. It was really good fun. Yeah, if you don't want to take your car through, because of course it is at your own risk, then the tour is great, which is £6.50 at the time of recording. Obviously, could go up if you're watching this in the future. And that is good fun, but I actually really enjoyed driving really through today. It was really good fun. Yeah, it was. Just under two hours it took us as well. And then of course, we've had a good walk around the rest of it as well. As I said throughout the video, uh, just because, you know, you've done the safari doesn't mean you've got to go there's so much to see yeah, here so isn't it yeah like what what other rides have you enjoyed which one's been your favorite oh, venom <laughs> no <laughs> i like the hippos yeah hill and hippos rhino coaster twister some good fun stuff and i think 14 pound 50 is good value for that in there for what there is bear in mind we've not even done all the rides we've done the majors yeah. but there's quite a lot of kids rides and stuff as well I there the isn't slide. there yeah like charlotte did the slide as you saw uh, we've got lots of on ride footage today so thanks to the park for allowing us for the first time to ever get on ride footage from here yeah. um, because that's really made the vlog even better and obviously you guys have got to see all of the different park it says the future here it's now actually owned by the looping group that i think they're a french company and they own quite a few different parks including pleasurewood hills so i think we could be seeing a few changes coming here in the future be interesting to see where they go in terms of new theme park developments of course we are a theme park channel we enjoy all the safari and everything but i look forward to seeing what it gets invested in the park because i'd like to see another family coaster now i think maybe like a, a powered coaster or something would go down really well and something else to sort of get them out there on the map a bit more for me my favorite ride has been venom really enjoyed that black fly was good nice reliability no cues and the safari was really good fun earlier so all in all a great day Bring the goats back. Yeah, bring the goats. Well, they're coming back, aren't they, summer? I know. So goats are coming back in the summer. So uh, if you are visiting the future, you will hopefully get you'll to get stroke them. the goat. Well, don't worry, Charlotte. I'll take you to somewhere where there's some goats Yay! soon. But there you go. Thank you very much to Westman Safari Park for having us. It's been a great day. And I'm sure we'll be back next year. We have our annual visit every year we to do. come down here and see what's happening. So thank you for your lovely day. Make sure you follow the park on their social media and check out their different events too. Thanks for joining me and Charlotte here on Theme Park Worldwide. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you in the next video.